All right, let's get to the weather now and find out if there's any random storms popping up. You never, you never know. It's always like late afternoon, it seems, this week. Right, and you know what? Today, there could be a couple of scattered showers, but our severe weather threat is now behind us. Good. And that's really great news after such a rough week of weather, not just here, but for much of the eastern United States. So let's take a look at the big picture. You can see that frontal boundary down to our south and east. That is actually the front that caused so much devastation. Got confirmation yesterday at this time that those four people that were killed in New York State, that was indeed a tornado. The very same system that brought tornadoes to areas just southwest of Cleveland and near Youngstown. And now we can say two tornadoes in our area. But high pressure is building in, which is why we've got a couple of nice days coming up on Friday and Saturday. And even today is a mainly dry day, just a couple of showers. Also with that clockwise flow around high pressure, our general wind flow is out of the north and east. That's lowered the humidity a bit from the last couple of days and also probably will prevent most of us from getting much above 80 degrees. But we do have a weak disturbance coming through and you're just beginning to see some clouds from Pittsburgh south and east. And it's really in the ridges where we have the best chance at a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms today. But even in town, one or two isolated showers, not out of the question. So we'll just say a few showers for today. After that great weather coming for Friday and Saturday, sunny and warm. If you are planning your weekend outdoors, first half of the weekend definitely looks better than the second half. Sunday's not a washout, but there is a chance of rain beginning on Saturday night. All right, let's take a look back at our severe weather outbreak on Tuesday. 2.48 p.m., we had a tornado with winds of 90 miles per hour in Hoagland, Mercer County. 2.59, a microburst very nearby in Jackson Center, Mercer County. The max winds 83 miles per hour, and we can now confirm a second tornado. 3.25 p.m., 100 mile per hour winds in Smithtown and Little Falls down in Monongalia County. So officially two tornadoes and one microburst on Tuesday afternoon. All right, on to the current temperatures. And a couple of folks like West Mifflin, Morgantown, getting very close to 80 degrees. If you're watching right now from Newcastle, you're at 78. But we're at 75 in the city. And again, we'll be creeping up toward 80 degrees. But that should be about where we stop today. I think tomorrow and especially on Saturday, temperatures will be much warmer. All right, future cast at 1 o'clock. And notice a couple of these scattered showers, even a little bit of lightning and thunder, mainly south and east, mainly in the ridges. But even as we work toward 3 o'clock, we can't rule out a couple of really isolated showers. I mean, it's quick and it's light. Most folks will not see rain, but you're going to notice those cumulus clouds bubbling up this afternoon. And from these clouds, one or two isolated showers by this evening, 9 o'clock. Any rain that does fall is long gone. All right, here's our forecast for today. 78 with some lucky folks closer to about 80. Mix of clouds and sun, couple of showers, but the best chance of rain will be in the ridges. Even a little bit of lightning and thunder down there, but nothing severe in the forecast. For tonight, we're drying out nicely. Should be mainly clear and comfy. Low temperature down to 58 degrees. Couple of nice days coming up Friday and Saturday, 82 to 85. Lots of sunshine. Saturday evening and Saturday night, we might begin to see a few showers. Better chance of rain in the forecast on Sunday. And then on and off showers will continue on Monday and Tuesday as well. So as far as that weekend goes, no doubt the first half is the better half. I don't think Sunday is a washout, but definitely a couple of showers in the forecast. Okay. Thanks so much, right. Steve.